Four of those in his first five games, three in his last 13, and we're underway from Chester, Pennsylvania, Subaru Park, the Philadelphia Union, and D.C. United. Bit of sustained possession here from a Philadelphia team that this season hasn't held on to the ball much. Yeah, and that's something that, that Jim Curtin... Now they go direct behind for Bedoya. Bedoya brings it down and scores! They lulled him to sleep! Wonderful goal from Philadelphia, who take a 1-0 lead nine minutes in. Well, Jim Kern will be absolutely delighted with this because he wanted his team to be more patient in possession. You see the run from Bedoya. It's a close one whether he's going to be offside or not, but it's a lovely first touch. First corner kick of the match. Kai Wagner will serve. Made it to Elliott. Oh, the bicycle! Julian Carranza, a spectacular finish. Philadelphia doubles its lead. Well, it's a wonderful finish from Carranza, but to defend him once again from set pieces, it's non-existent. There are no players being marked. You, more often than not, you look at the second ball, where's he going to go? Have I got my man? Can I mark my man? And even Romo, he's saying to his, to his teammate, the middle of the goal, Carranza's there. Why is nobody marking him? It looks as though it's Skundrich that's actually playing him on side, but the problem and the big Achilles heel for DC this season has been the set pieces. Well, there goes another one, but take nothing away from Philadelphia Union start. Is that from the second he came to the club, he got the presser. So he was straight into that, and you know, the goals were always going to come eventually. They're looking for a third. Harrios behind. Nathan Harrios sends it wide. Had the whole goal. Probably could have dribbled it in himself. And nobody from D.C. Is, is communicating with players around them. It's just too easy. Here comes Philadelphia again. Gazdag. Patient for Flock. What a ball. Flock cutting it across. Oh, it is simply spectacular from Philadelphia in the first 25 minutes. Julian Carranza with the brace. And they are flying at Subaru Park. 3-0. And then Carranza gets across three defenders. And before you know it, the ball's in the back of the net. One thing I would say about Carranza, he was on the... His sixth assist of the season already tonight. Whips this to the near post. Flipped down and in! Bedoya! It's four! It's a first half knockout in Philadelphia. We said earlier in the game how dangerous Bedoya is because he's the last one to be marked. He continuously makes that run to the near post and he does it again. Nobody takes control. I think his Scundrich doesn't follow him. He sees him in his side but doesn't go with him. And it's such an astute header from Bedoya that all that Romo can do is just look and hope that the post comes to his rescue. It's been a couple of balls over the top when Union are trying to press high and then they're looking to get Estrada or Kamara or even Funtas in behind. You know, so they didn't earn the right at any point in the game to play the way that they wanted to play and then Union just kept picking them off. Gazdag, Ura to his left. Oh, finds us down. Ura has made it five. Why not? An exclamation point on one of the best halves in Philadelphia's history. It is 5-0 heading into halftime. Then it's the run from Ua. And what he does here, he just lets the ball go. He lets the ball go into his path. Pines gambles. He gets it completely wrong. And then he's just got the composure. Gressel coming forward. Makes it to Fontas. Andre play. What a save. Denying Taxi Fontas. Strike, but an even better save from Blake. You just see it here again. Fontas almost... Two-time goalkeeper of the year. Something else to do. Oh, and he does. Second in a row from Blake. Now Smith putting it back in. Harrell's got a long throw. Flicked on by Bedoya. Romo a punch. He doesn't get this clear, though. Harrell brings it down. Harrell sends it in off of Gressel. Ooh, oh! Number six.
wasn't the same kind of start to the second half as to the first for Philadelphia. But the result's the same. It's another one, and it is 6 nil. Well, 6 nil comes about, contain and counter. They've had to deal with a little bit of pressure, but this is brilliant, originally from Harriel. And then he just falls. Driving forward for Philadelphia. Leaving for Kai Wagner. Carranza on a hat trick. Wins a corner. Handball, it's a penalty. So he wants it because he wants to get the hat trick. It's wonderful play from Paxton Aronson. He plays the ball into Wagner, he plays the ball back, and it's just as Carranza hits it. It's just the arm that goes up from Adui Achem. And then just sends it wide. Carranza for a hat trick and for seven on the night. Saved by Romo. Carranza tried to go down the middle. Romo left the leg trailing and sweeps it away. A lot of room in the midfield for Philadelphia. Now Wagner comes forward. Wagner. Carranza missed the penalty. Oh! No mistake that time. What a finish from Julian Carranza, who now gets his hat trick and now makes it 7-0 for the Philadelphia Union. It's a brilliant finish. I think he looked at it and said, for my hat-trick goal, I don't want it to be a simple penalty. I want it to be the best of the lot. And it's an outstanding finish. What he does really well. Paxton Aronson out wide. Gets around one. Cleared away by Alfaro. Makes it back to Aronson. Aronson at the byline. Can they put it in? Romo is there. Wagner clipping it into the box. This is Carranza, it's over the bar. The eighth was right there. Kamara wins a very late corner that will not be taken. Ted Uncle blows the final whistle on a record setting night at Subaru Park. Seven nothing, the Philadelphia Union.